I have seen tons of insanely unique and crazy weapons in Terraria, but I've never seen one as crazy as this. Let's hop into the game just to see what powers this weapon is hiding. We are here checking out another insane, crazy, overpowered super weapon. You know what it is. Today's special weapon is the Twilight, which is from Lobotomy Corporation, I believe. I don't even know what that is. Is that an anime? Is that a manga? I don't know. I just know lobotomies aren't really a good thing. But yeah, we got this weapon called the Twilight. Let's just take a look before we start reading anything. Let me just see the visuals. Dang. That thing's got some length to it. A decent amount of girth. Talking about the sword, y'all. Yeah, let's see. It says 477 question mark, question mark, question mark damage. Very interesting. And it says it's an ego weapon. Just like how the ever watching eyes, the scale that could measure any and all sin and the break that could swallow everything protected the peace of the black forest the wielder of this armament may also bring peace as they did hold up swallow everything this video is too freaky all right let's let's, let's just look at what it actually does it says the base damage is doubled when your health is below 50 percent dang all right that's pretty cool it's affected by melee range and magic damage bonuses left click to use four powerful attacks in turn let's see that let's just start with the four attacks Okay, hold on, hold on. Get off the mount. Okay. Some interesting animations. We got like the sword swipe. Followed up by like projectiles. But hold up. What is that? Do you see that? Like the little, I don't even know, weight scale? Very interesting. That's just the left click. So let's bring in a nice little boss to test this out on the golem. What's the damage looking like? Oh. The damage is looking pretty good. Why do you drop two pixels? Okay, you know, that was an enemy that was just chilling on journey mode. Let's bring it into master mode. Let's see, does it still do that damage? Oh, wait, oh, hold up, it's not that bad. It's taking a little bit longer, but it definitely wasn't that bad. So it does seem this weapon isn't as strong as I thought, but maybe it's because we aren't using the right attacks. Right click to synchronize with the apocalypse bird. In apocalypse bird mode, left click to launch a normal attack and right click to launch a special attack. Middle click to switch states between the three birds. What does that even mean? And this says every state will bring unique buffs, switch weapons to desynchronize. Note that you cannot synchronize again within 30 seconds after desynchronizing. Got it? So I'm hitting right click and something is supposed to happen. What? in the hell what am i looking at <laughs> this kind of looks sick this looks like something the moon lord should have been so what, what am i doing here if i left click oh my god so we control the monster in the back this is sick what's the what's the dude called big eye i mean yeah that's a pretty big eye hold up okay this just got crazy all right bring out the golem again this time let me hit the left click on him oh my god hit another left click on him i don't know what left click does what oh here we go we got the projectiles damn my boy didn't stand a chance that time but hold on let me let me read this it says middle click to switch states between the three birds so if i right click what do i do what the heck is what is that it's like gonna like explode or something if something steps into that what, what, what is that i don't know try it again maybe it's because there was no enemy i don't know i don't know no idea what that does it just says Z, 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 Z when i summon it i'm trying to figure out though how you do the uh sort of attacks how it either does the little projectile like this or it does the little smashing attack like that i don't i don't know what the difference is but now if we hit middle mouse we should change states whoa it's like way brighter now okay well, what do we got now in terms of attacks it's the same thing but maybe i have a different buff yeah look long arm the long bird's arms conceal time when hitting the enemy with the most health all the enemies will take 15 percent of the damage all of your attacks have a chance to inflict mark of sin which increases the effect of all attacks right click to launch the ceaseless judgment attack consuming all marks of sin to do pale damage this is like reading a whole different language let's bring in some enemies here queen slime plantera let's hit them with everything we got damn and let's see the right click now what does the right click do now okay the little like judgment scale so if there's a lot of enemies i think when we right click when we right click it should kill like everything but apparently we're supposed to mark all the enemies and look it, it just chunks enemies whoever has the highest health what did, what did it say when hitting the enemy with the most health percent all the enemies will take damage so it's pretty much an attack that just inflicts damage on everything even if you're not targeting those specific enemies either way this is still a cool thing we're literally controlling this like giant demon in the background now i want to see the last mode here if i hit middle mouse oh 
That was actually a bird that showed up. <laughs> Small beak. Taking damage will cause the next attack to deal three times damage. Right click to launch the torn mouth attack. During the torn mouth attack, all enemies will slow down. Okay, so let's bring in some fast enemies here. And if we right click, everything should slow down. Whoa, that's nasty. That's like something you would see in like dead space. I don't know. Hold up. Let me see that again. Ugh. Pretty deadly though, of course. I think anything this monster is doing in the background would be pretty deadly. But we have sort of seen enough here from the regular vanilla mobs. It's time to bring out some real monsters. Look at that. My boy's gone just like that. But bring him back. Psych, we can't. We gotta wait 30 seconds. Let's bring in the calamity bosses. Hold up. Let's bring my boy back. What's up? And then let's go into, uh, let's, let's do the third form because it seems like that's the best one. And let's start bringing in some calamity bosses. Who's first? Providence. 600,000 health. That's a good, decent amount of health right there. Let's start with the nasty mouth attack. Wow. It barely did anything. Hold up. Maybe this weapon isn't as super as I thought. Let's see though. Let's get some regular attacks going. It's not really doing any damage. Now I did put on this Genji armor, which makes us do a little bit more damage, but damn, I thought this was going to be like the super weapon. Cause look at it. It's got presentation. Like it's a super weapon, right? How, how many other Terraria weapons would do something like this? Maybe I got to put a certain combo of items together. To make it stronger because i mean it still does decent damage it's just not insta killing in master mode maybe master mode is too strong for even a weapon like this i don't know i don't i don't remember when providence did all this i really haven't played through the calamity mod in like years whoa what the hell when did providence turn blue <laughs> I don't remember this. All right, I put it back to normal mode just to, you know, have the enemies be able to take some sort of damage. It still only does 577, so this is the best that I could do here in terms of accessories. This is what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and put a buff on all of our accessories. Put a little, you know, a little damage buff on them. See if we can help the weapon a little bit. And maybe like, gamers, why don't you just put on the uh, Arc Tesla armor? Uh, surprisingly, this Genji set from the Juice mod does way more damage. So I think that's what we rock with hold up we do six percent more damage six percent more melee damage or do i do just menacing on everything let's just do menacing all right let's bring in some more big boys here let's see what's popping can we fight a big boy like my boy dog which i'm still waiting for their sprite to update waiting for my boy to get that glow up let's go into the danger mode and of course let's, let's try this one out i, I just want to see some variation here I hear a lot of hit noises. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was solid. Send that boy straight into phase two. Presentation wise though, this mod is like insane. Like I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what lobotomy corp is about, but it seems like it honestly might be pretty cool. I always hear about it. I always see like references and hear about it, but I have no idea what it's about. All right, now that dog is dead though, who do we bring in next? Poltergast, why not? Let's bring in some post Moolah bosses, see what's up with them. Damn, he's lucky beat my ass. He's moving too. I don't remember Poltergast moving like this. I would say the only thing with this weapon, besides his damage not being like super. What the hell, my boy just did? Besides the damage not being super crazy, is the cooldown sometimes seem a little long in between attacks. Old Duke, bring his crusty ass out here. Yeah, the damage isn't bad at when you don't just play on master mode where like all health bars are quadrupled. Like, it actually seems like a pretty good weapon. Weapon on top of all the little stacking damage I got going on. I do want to hit my boy though with the other attack. Hold up, is this thing sucking me in? Hold up, I ain't know old Duke got that good suction. All right, but let's take him out and let's go into the bird mode. We're going into bird mode. We're saying what's up to yarn. Hit him with a nice simple left click combo. Oh, I kind of missed. Hit my boy with a nice little left click combo. Hit him with the little projectiles. Hit him with the stomp. The stomp seems like it does great damage if you can actually get on top of him. And then let's hit him with the freaky ass mouth attack. Go ahead and do it. Ugh, that thing's nasty. Nasty, but in a cool way. It's taking a little longer to kill him. Maybe this mode is just weaker than the other one. Like, we might as well just try out all the modes at this point. This one's kind of hard to see. Okay, yeah, damage is not bad in the other modes. Maybe it's just that one mode that kind of sucks. Because this one and then the, the, the other mode. Let me switch to the other one. Actually, let's kill him first. Let's take his ass out. If we switch to the other one, aka boom, this one, the like scales of judgment one. Those two really aren't that bad. Let's bring out my boy, Jumbo. What's up? Time to hit him with the little projectiles. Damn, my boy died quick. Okay, 
Maybe we can start bringing out some scarier things. What about my boy Noxus? What's popping with Noxus? Oh, this might be loud, ain't it? I can't even see what's going on. Like, anything that happens in the background, you cannot see because this boss or this weapon is huge. Oh, Noxus is eating this. He is straight up eating these attacks right now. I don't even know what to do against him. I could try and use the, the right click attack, which pretty much should chunk all enemies. Yeah, look at that. That's like a guaranteed chunk of damage. So maybe that's our way we cheese any boss. The little, the little scales of judgment. The thing is, I have to kind of stack that debuff first. Gotta land a few hits, stack the debuff. I don't think any of the super bosses are gonna take that much damage, bro. This might be our first like super weapon. That's a little disappointing. The vanilla Terraria equivalent would be like, imagine the Zenith, this crazy looking weapon that you get at the end of the game, you use it. And that shit does like copper sword damage. Wouldn't be that fun, right? I tried to look at the uh, mods sort of, this boss fight's good. <laughs> I'm about to despawn, bro. I try to look in the uh, mods files to see if you could just like make this weapon insanely strong, and you can't, which is kind of upsetting because I really do want to make it like super OP. All right, last but not least, you know what we have to do for any video with super weapons? Bring out my boy, the death, the Ek. Go ahead, come on in. Can we kill bro, or will he kill us? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought we stopped him. I thought we stopped him. He turned me into a fool yet again. What is happening? The screen is shaking like crazy right now. But yeah, that was the Twilight, an insane weapon mod that I've seen on Team Modeler for a minute. It's a really sick weapon. I, I still don't know what I'm looking at in the background. <laughs> is it like a spider? Like, what the hell is it? It has wings, I think. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty sick. Shout out to everyone that worked on this mod. Again, I just wish it was stronger. It feels like it's super intimidating, but then it hits very, very soft. Still though, at the end of the day, it still has some very nasty attacks like that. Ugh. But yeah, make sure to check out the mod and also make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Also, check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gamers101. I've been streaming the new official RL Craft mod pack, which has been very, very entertaining. I don't know if I would say it's fun because I'm just dying 24 seven, but it's very entertaining. But if you miss any of those streams, you can always check out Game Raiders Live. That's where I post all the streams that you guys miss. But other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video have a good one